This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. Knowledge. The importance of a fact-based understanding of the world is more pressing than ever. Anietta Rosling, Uppsala, April 2020 Introduction On the 5th of February, 2016, I spoke to my doctor on the phone. What he said meant that writing this book became a priority. I had been prepared for bad news, and it was. The diagnosis was pancreatic cancer. Our talk that Friday afternoon only confirmed what had gradually become obvious to me during the last few days of undergoing medical investigations. The prognosis was bad. I had approximately one year left to live. I spent most of that evening in tears. I was lucky to have Agneta, my wife, who had been my lovely young girlfriend, and then became my partner for life when we got married in 1972. Through the comfort she offered me, and the support of our children and friends, I was able to adjust to this new reality. I would not die in the coming month. Terminal illness or not, life would go on. And I would be around to enjoy life during the spring and summer at least. Cancer made the structure of my daily life unpredictable, and my work schedule had to change. Just a few days after learning of my illness, I cancelled all my lecture engagements and also my participation in film and TV projects. It was sad, but I had no choice. Besides, I had specific plans which helped me cope with these dramatic measures. One item on my to-do list moved to the top. Complete the book that I had planned to write jointly with my son Ola and his wife Anna. We had agreed on the title, Factfulness. Over the last 18 years, the three of us had been working together in public education and founded a not-for-profit venture called Gapminder. In the autumn of 2015, Anna and Ola had formulated the concept behind the book as well as its title. We had decided to set aside the following year for writing it, in parallel with our work for Gapminder. After my cancer diagnosis, I was in even more of a hurry. I quickly realized that there was enough material for two books. While factfulness is about the reasons why people find development on a global scale so hard to grasp, this book is about me and how I reach that understanding. In other words, this is a memoir. Unlike factfulness, it is very short on numbers. Instead, I tell stories about meeting people who opened my eyes, made me step back and think again. Hans Rosling, Uppsala, January 2017 Chapter 1 From Illiteracy to Academic Excellence When my father came home from work in the evening, he always smelled of coffee. He worked in the roasting shed at Linfels Café in Uppsala. This is how I came to love the scent of coffee long before I began to drink it. I often watched out for Papa coming home from work, waiting outside as he cycled along the street. He would jump off his bike and hug me, and then I'd ask him the same question every time. Did you find anything today? When the sacks of green coffee beans arrived for roasting, the beans were tipped out onto a conveyor belt and, first of all, screened by a powerful magnet. The idea was to remove any metal objects that might have ended up in the sack during the drying and packing process. Papa would bring these things home to me and tell me a story about every one of them. These stories were thrilling. Sometimes he brought a coin. Look, this is from Brazil, he might say. Brazil produces more coffee than anywhere else. My father would let me sit on his lap, open the world atlas in front of us, and begin telling the story. It's a large country and very hot. This coin turned up inside a sack from Santos, he would explain, 
pointing at the Brazilian port city. He would describe the working men and women, links in the chain that ended.